In this video, we'll take a look at the retouching Photoshop actions from Photography Planet. This set includes 20 different actions for improving portraits. There are actions for working with skin, eyes, teeth, and lips. And so I'm going to use a few sample photos here and just demonstrate the different actions in the set and how they work. We'll start with um, the blemish remover, which is usually the first action that I use. And go ahead and play that. And it gives you a message that it needs to flatten your image and it will create a snapshot in the history that you can access in the history panel if you need to access it later. In this case, my image is just one layer already, so it doesn't impact anything. Um, then you get a message to select the brush size, set the brush size to be slightly larger than the blemish, and then click on the blemish to remove it. So you have this circle. You can increase or decrease the size um, using the keyboard shortcuts. The left bracket will decrease the size, and the right bracket will increase the size. So you just want to get the right size, put it around the blemish, and click to remove it. And you want to watch each one that you do, because sometimes you'll get some uneven skin tones or something like that. And usually if you just undo it, then maybe change up the brush size and try again, you'll usually get a better result. So just go around your photo, select the different blemishes until you get the look that, that you want. And um, I could keep going here, but I'll just stop. That demonstrates how it works. So over in the layers palette, you have the layer with the blemishes removed, and then you have the background layer that's untouched. So if you hide the blemish remover layer, you can see how it's impacted the photo. So we'll move on to um, some of the other skin actions. There are um, four actions for softening skin. There's gentle soften, soften and lighten, which is the same as the gentle soften. It just also adds a little bit of lightness to the skin. And there's stronger softening and porcelain skin, which is the strongest of the softening actions. So I generally use the gentle, unless it, it's um, a situation where you really want a more extreme look. So I'm going to go ahead and play that. This will also flatten the image and um, create a snapshot. So then it tells you to use a white brush with soft edges to paint the areas that you want to smoothen and you can increase or decrease the opacity to increase or decrease the strength of the effect. So almost all of these actions work the same. Um, after running them, you'll use the brush to paint where you want to impact the photo. And the actions will automatically select the brush tool and set the foreground color to white. You just need to set the brush size to whatever suits your needs. So in this case, I'm just going to brush over your skin on the forehead, smoothen that a little bit. Maybe a little hard to see on the video. Um, this is the the gentle softening. The other ones are a little more, a little stronger. You can see the effect there by hiding the group. And if you want to strengthen the effect, and select the opacity and increase the opacity, and it'll increase the strength of the effect, or you could decrease it. Whatever suits your photo best. Okay. I'm going to also use this um, wrinkle reducer. Gives you the same message about flattening the image and then the same message about using a brush to paint. Um, so you just want to set the brush to be slightly larger than the wrinkle that you want to reduce. And I'll just reduce some wrinkles here around the eyes. There you can see the impact. And again, you can change the opacity to uh, increase or decrease the effect. And there are also um, some actions here for removing redness in skin or correcting yellow skin. There's a blush for adding a little bit of a like, rosy cheek effect. You can also add a tan. And then there's an action for emphasizing flaws, which I'm going to demonstrate here on this photo. So this one isn't one that 
I find myself using as much as some of the others, but it is helpful in some situations. So to play that, it's the same process, and then um, just paint on the areas. And this will emphasize things like wrinkles and blemishes in the skin. So it's kind of the opposite of most of the retouching actions. So just brush over the areas where you want to, to emphasize the flaws in the skin. And there you can see the effect by hiding the group. And again, you can increase the strength of the, of the effect if you want. So then we'll move on to the eyes actions. There is an action for whitening the whites of the eyes. It works just like the others. You just run it and then paint over the area that you want to impact. So you just paint over the, the whites of the eyes. There is one for adding depth, which is intended for um, eyelashes, eyebrows, in situations where you just want to kind of darken them and add a little bit of depth. There is an action to darken the iris, which sometimes will work well with, um, especially with brown eyes. Enhance the eye color. It's one I'm going to use here on this photo. Run it, and then it gives you the same message to uh, use a brush to paint over the eyes where you want, where you want to enhance the color. So you just want to paint over the irises. You want to be careful not to get the whites of the eyes because it can give a little bit of a colored effect or a haloed effect around the whites of the eyes. So you can see the before and after by toggling the, uh, the group. And you can also increase that by adjusting the opacity if you like. So you get a stronger effect by increasing the opacity. And there's one for sharpening the eyes. I'm going to go ahead and run that as well. This will flatten and create a snapshot. So now that I want to just paint over over the eyelashes and the iris. And to hide the, the group, you can see the before and after. And like the others, you can increase or decrease the strength of the effect with the opacity. Okay, now there are also actions for whitening teeth and um, for editing lips. I'm going to show those in just a minute here. I'm going to go through a, um, a sample photo from start to finish uh, very quickly. So with this one, I'd start with the blemish remover. Not all of your photos will need the blemish remover, some of them will. But I, I usually like to start with it because it gets some of the major issues out of the way first before smoothing skin or moving on to the teeth or lips or anything. So that's a good start. I'm going to use the um, wrinkle reducer next. I'll flatten the image and create a snapshot. Okay, and then I'm going to use the gentle, gentle soften for the skin. I'm not going to be as careful as I would in real life here. I'm just trying to get this demonstration done pretty quickly. Um, in real life, I'd be a little more, a little more precise and careful with the brush. But I just want to generally brush over the areas of the skin that I want to soften. There you 
you can see the impact there. If you want to increase the opacity, you can. I'm just going to leave it at that. Um, okay, now moving on to the eyes. I don't really want to whiten the eyes. I think they're white enough already. I'm going to use the um, darken the iris action. So I'll run that and then just paint over the iris. And then you can see the impact there. I'll sharpen the eyes. Cover the lashes and the iris. I'm not going to sharpen over the whites because I don't want to sharpen the little red vessels in the eyes. There you can see the impact of sharpening the lashes and the iris. Then we'll do the whitened teeth. This one works the same, just want to paint over the teeth. See the impact there. Now for the lips, there is um, an action for red lips. There's another one for red textured lips, and then there is shimmer. I'm going to use shimmer. It kind of gives you almost like a lip gloss type of effect. Just paint over the lips. Now you can see the impact by turning it off. I'm going to reduce the opacity a little bit to soften that effect. And that's it. So at this point, I'm ready to move on to the helpers. Um, there is a, an action to add texture which you could use in situations where you wanted to add some texture to maybe clothes or hair or some other element in the photo. There is an action to make a new snapshot, which you can use at any time. All of the ones that will be flattening the image will automatically create a snapshot, but if you want to create a snapshot at any other point, you can do that. There is an action to flatten the image. So at this point, I'm ready to save it. So I'm going to go ahead and flatten it. It'll create a snapshot before the flatten. And now if you look over, it's just one layer. So at this point now, if you wanted to go back and access any of the snapshots to um, get back to the layers, you would go to the History panel, go to Windows, hit Window History, and scroll up to the top, and you'll see the snapshots. So now I have a snapshot before the blemish remover, before the wrinkle reducer, gentle soften, before sharpening the eyes, and before flattening. So at any at any time, that, as long as I have this file open, I can go back and access the layers as they were when that snapshot was taken. So that demonstrates how you can use the retouching actions. They are also compatible with Photoshop Elements 11 and newer. They were pretty much the same, except for Elements does not support snapshots, so you don't have that functionality, but pretty much everything else is the same in the Elements version. Thank you for watching.